Hi, and welcome to this talking head video. This is the, the last update of 2024 for the channel. Uh, I just want to start off, as always, like we always do with these channel updates. I just want to thank every single one of you. Um, at the time of filming this, we're just over 14,500 subscribers. So we're almost at that 15,000. Uh, which is just wild to think about. I know that I say that every single channel update, uh, but it just continues to amaze me. Um, I know that a lot of you have also emailed me um, and contacted me as well um, with all your different projects, some asking for help as well, and just letting me know um, what you guys have created as well. I love hearing from you guys, so definitely feel free uh, to send me all of those emails. If it's something that I can help with, I'll definitely help. Um, if it's something that is a little bit more in depth, that does take time. I might not be able to, uh, depending on my workload and what I have exactly going on. Um, but I do love hearing from all of you, um, and your guys' progress in system administration, programming, IT, or anything like that as well. Um, so what we're going to have for the channel coming up in 2025 um, as you've seen with the more recent videos, uh, we've definitely have taken uh, more security style videos. So there's going to be a lot more of those coming. Um, how to manipulate your firewall with PowerShell, uh, some more network scanning, and just some more overall security with PowerShell. Maybe how to set up uh, group policy objects um, for some PowerShell security as well. Maybe some more uh, logging and everything like that. Uh, we'll also have PowerShell with Mongo databases. Um, so I'm going to go over on how to query, insert, update uh, Mongo databases with PowerShell. And I know that I haven't done any videos with Mongo databases. So we're going to show you guys how to set up a free Mongo Atlas account um, because you can have a Mongo database completely for free. Um, so that's what we're going to be using. And then we're going to create some PowerShell scripts to be able to manipulate that just to give you guys another database option when you guys are writing PowerShell scripts, because we already have SQL um, in our database scripts, and we also have Elastic, which Elastic is similar to a Mongo database. It is a, uh, a NoSQL, but it's definitely more used for uh, search databases. Uh, so we're gonna be taking a look at MongoDB. Also, I know that I mentioned this in another video that I just released last week about the powerlifting competition, but the delay in shorts, I know that I posted that in October, um, right after that video, life got handed a big curveball uh, with work. Um, and then that just kind of snowballed into personal life. Uh, so it's just been a very, very hectic couple months. Um, so the first couple shorts are already up and there's going to be more up as well uh, with time. Those are going to be a more focused on the jacked side of jacked powerlifting, uh, jacked programmer, sorry, uh, which is going to be more of focus on powerlifting and that training. Uh, but there are going to be some system administration and some programming shorts as well, like quick tips that don't really need full fledged quick tip videos. Uh, so maybe some easy little one-liners, maybe just going over uh, quick tips a second time for the commandlets that are extremely useful, like the get help commandlet, get command, how to import a module, different little things like that that can be covered in like under a minute. Um, so there's going to be more talking head videos as well, since I've seen that you guys kind of liked uh, some of the ones that I did this year. Uh, so we're going to be going over some project idea for you guys, for the system administrators, for programmers, some of the different things that you can actually make to put on your resume to get out there and get those jobs. Some different languages um, that we might want to use in system administration and programming that might make your life easier, or just a review on if that programming language is even worth learning in 2025 some of the different tools that you can use like Visual Studio. Um, there's also some other handy tools that I'm not gonna mention yet, but that I'm just saving up for these videos, um, but they're gonna help you in your day-to-day -day system administration life. 
uh, just to be able to automate more things or just tackle on more in a shorter amount of time. And also, as I kind of mentioned in my previous video that I posted last week, going over just some more um, things about taking your health as a priority in the system administration programming world, making sure that you're taking that that time away from the screen and just how to manage that and how to kind of go around that avenue. And like I said, if you guys wanted more on that, definitely to please let me know on this video or on the powerlifting recap video as well. Um, and I can definitely get you guys started. And also, I kind of want to know what you guys would like to see more on the channel or what you guys would like to see on the channel. If I haven't done something that you guys would really like to see, please let me know down in the comment section down below. I want to hear from you guys. I want to be able to create an environment where you guys can thrive. And I just like creating this content so you guys can learn. I also learn at the same time, which is just fantastic. Um, and please let me know. And once again, thank you guys for all the support. I think I've, we've been doing this now for almost like three, four years now. I've kind of lost track because it's been quite a while and I wasn't really expecting the support that I've gotten from you guys. Um, like I said, I never thought that I would even reach 100 subscribers and here we are almost at 15,000. So that is awesome. If you guys like what you've heard and want to see more, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Also be notified when that next video comes out. You can click on that notification bell for that next video. And I will see you guys on the next video.